What happens when you don't eat for 28 days? Let's talk about it. Why did I do this? Why did I go 28 days without eating? Well, let me start at the beginning. I was working for Conklin Cars at the time, you know, a decently sized car dealership. I wasn't real happy there. I was pretty miserable. I had a manager there and he was just kind of a mean, nasty guy. Uh, would like to tell me all the time how he, how he couldn't wait to fire me after six months, you know? And eventually he did. Right at the six month mark, he fired me. And, uh, you know, I kind of broke down after that. It was the first time I'd ever experienced being fired. To a man, you know, that's, that's your identity. That's who you are. And I, I didn't take it well. It sent me down kind of a dark path. Eventually I watched this video on Netflix uh, called Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. The guy's name uh, in the documentary is Joe Cross. He's this Australian guy. Really charismatic, really, really, really interesting guy to watch. He talks about how, you know, he went from uh, all these autoimmune conditions to, you know, finding relief with juicing, with a juice fast. So I thought, wow, that's, that's really amazing, you know? Uh, can that really work? I would have done just about anything. I, I was I was not in a good place in my life. I latched onto it, of course, and I tried it. I, I gave it a go. You know, it, it kind of made sense that all the foods that we're eating, you know, are causing a lot of damage. I went out and I bought a juicer, uh, but the cheapest juicer I could find. It was like maybe 40, 50 bucks. I spent at least $100 on produce, you know, tons of fruit and veg. Just tons, and I think I've got pictures of that. I'll put it up here. Um, really, <laughs> stuff that I didn't normally eat up until that point. This was this was a big change for me. I made so much juice that I broke it within the first week. The juicer, it shouldn't have done that, but you know, still I had to take it back and get another one. Um, if I find those pictures, I'll show them on the screen, so you know which one you know is absolute crap and which one's you know halfway decent. So here's what happened. The first week was tough. Uh, in fact, the first three days were absolutely horrible. I have never felt cravings like that in my entire life. I, I was so hungry. Those first three days, I, I really thought I was dying. Going from a standard American diet to a healthy, well, what I thought was healthy, juice fast at the time, it was, it was crazy different. It was, it was like nothing I'd ever experienced. After the first three days, my cravings actually disappeared. I, I wasn't hungry at all. Uh, I, or at least I, I didn't think I was. It's like your body just shuts down. It's like it knows that you're trying to find food and you know it's not gonna make it even worse. So it gave me this boost of energy and it lasted probably like a week. But after that, um, I learned a lesson. I'll never forget it. There's a big difference between cravings and hunger. Uh, cravings are just your body addicted to food, you know, telling you, hey man, you haven't eaten in a couple hours, like, you know, you've been doing for the last 20 years, you know, you better get on that. Hunger, hunger is a completely different other beast altogether. Up until this point, I always thought I was hungry all the time, but I was wrong. Hunger, hunger doesn't feel like that. It's something else. It, it feels like pain, you know, just an emptiness in your stomach. If you've ever gone without food for a week or two, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's, it's not like anything else. If you haven't tried it, uh, I'm not telling you you should, but it, it's nice to know when your body's actually hungry and when you're just, you know, you're just addicted to things and you, you want to eat. Because it feels good to eat. Your body enjoys it, and that's okay. But it should be the right things, not just garbage, not addiction foods. I made two mistakes during this diet, this juice fast, and that's probably the reason why it failed. First of all, I didn't eat enough calories. I was probably only eating four or five hundred calories every single day. It's hard to drink enough produce in the first place to get calories. I mean, do you know how expensive that is? It's crazy. I was I was spending hundreds of dollars on fruit and veg, like a week's worth of drinks out of it. That that was what really probably brought me down. The second one was eating just every fruit and vegetable out there. I didn't limit myself at all. Let me explain further. If you know that food triggers your autoimmune issues, then you know that nightshades can be a trigger for some people. And I know I've said before that nightshades are my worst trigger. You know, tomatoes, regular white potatoes, peppers, most peppers. 
they're, they're nightshades. They come in the nightshade family and they have solanine in them. And this is a food intolerance for me. It's a food trigger for autoimmune, for my main autoimmune issues. So I was really miserable the entire time. In fact, I was in a lot of pain. I remember my GERD, my gastro, ento, whatever, all those acid reflux problems, they were the absolute worst during this time. I was I was suffering something fierce. Um, I, <laughs> it was bad. And soon after, I ended up in the hospital, but that's another video um, related to kind of a different diet I tried. Um, unofficial, but we'll get to that later on. If I had gotten enough calories and stayed away from nightshades, I might have actually been successful in this. I, I've heard a lot of stories where people do really well because it, it can work for a lot of people. If you don't have nightshade intolerance, you're probably going to be okay. But again, it's kind of expensive to do this too because that's that's a lot of produce. And produce, produce is kind of expensive these days, as you know, especially if you're eating organic. And if you're juicing, you probably should. Is it a bad thing? I don't think it's a terrible thing, if done right. I really think it could be a really good thing at the beginning of a diet, really any fast. If you're doing a water fast or a juice cleanse or something like that, that can, that can be a really good way to start off a diet, you know, to get rid of sugar addictions. All of these fast and master cleanses or juice cleanses are meant to be temporary. And I would say, please don't do them over three days. I know a lot of people do seven day cleanses. If you're gonna do that, maybe just do it once a year. But the whole point of the cleanse was that you shut down your stomach. And the theory is that your body starts to heal. And it kind of makes sense because a lot of your gut flora, your immune system is all around your gut. So, you know, giving that time to heal and just to rest, it makes sense to me. It makes sense to a lot of people. And it does work for a lot of people. But again, I made some, you know, crucial mistakes and yeah, I won't, do, I won't be doing it again. What happened to me? Well, I lost 40 pounds. And in 28 days, that is a lot of weight. It was, it was pretty dramatic. A lot of people were scared around me that I was, I was gonna kill myself. And honestly, I was really scared by the end of it. I had intended on going 90 days in the beginning and then I think halfway through it, I was like, no, maybe 60 days because you know, it, it's intense. It's, it's like nothing I've ever done before. So I ended up doing 28 days because on the 28th day, I, I literally thought I was dying. I was on the couch. I was just weak. I couldn't walk. I was scared that, you know, someone is going to find me a week later dead. You know, watching Netflix, not the way to go. So I decided to start eating again. How do you start eating again? Because I heard that if you just start eating after that many days of not eating, you can actually die. Uh, I don't know if this is actually true. This might just be one of those, you know, legends or whatever rumors, but I, I took it kind of seriously. Um, I had Nutella, you know, hazelnut chocolate spread in my cabinet this entire time, the whole 28 days, and that's what I wanted most. I. I dreamt about it, honestly. It, it was something I wanted. Even though, even when I wasn't hungry, I was like, oh man, I just want a spoonful of Nutella. It is so good. But I I waited. And then finally at the 28 day mark, I, I grabbed it out of my cabinet, really slowly. And I got back on my couch and I just started, you know, licking it, <laughs> started licking it by the handful. Uh, you know, just awful. You know, I, I couldn't control myself right at that point. And most of the time I was just dreaming about eating regular food or just eating, even eating produce like apples. I just wanted to eat them so bad because when you're juicing, all you can think about is eating. You go, you go your entire life eating every single day. You know, it becomes a habit. It becomes something you expect and almost look forward to. Definitely look forward to. But when you lose that all of a sudden so quickly, it really it plays tricks on your mind. So anyway, I had the Nutella and I was eating that and uh, slowly over the next couple days I added in more fruits and vegetables and I was eating them whole and then about a week later I was back to normal food. And when I say normal food, I mean fast food, McDonald's, the absolute worst and, and that's on me. But I gained it all back, of course, because it wasn't a lifestyle change. It was, it was a temporary fix, you know, and I'm not blaming Joe Cross. Joe Cross, I didn't listen to him at all. I didn't eat enough calories. I didn't I didn't do it the way they I was supposed to. I wasn't I didn't make a change, permanent change where I ate healthy. So 
those were my results. But 40 pounds, 28 days, it was quite the experience. I don't recommend people doing it and definitely don't do it the way I did it. But if you are going to do it, make sure you do it the right way. Consult the experts and that is definitely not me. No. I hope you liked this video. It was one of my craziest experiences with food that I've ever had. If you did, please drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please subscribe. It's right down there. It's a big red button. You can't miss it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.